Now for more local news. As the territory marks another Territory Day celebrations, Director of the Virgin Islands Institute, Dr. Angel Smith, has shed light on the origin of the event. And he says self-governance in the Virgin Islands has come full circle. Speaking about the origin of Territory Day celebrations, Dr. Smith says when the Leeward Islands Federation was disbanded on July 1, 1956, the Virgin Islands assumed colonial status for a second time. Monday, July 2, 1956 was declared a public holiday, now known as Territory Day, and is observed on the first Monday in July, in lieu of July 2. About this time, we had another major change in the region. And that is, remember I was saying that we were a part of the Leeward Islands colony. Um, but now we had our legislative council. The, one of the members from our local legislative council would then represent the BVI and the general the legislative council. And that was H.R. Penn at the time. And in, in 1954, there was the move to establish the West Indies Federation. Yes, and um, the Leeward Islands uh, legislative the Leeward Islands Legislative Council was being disbanded, so that they could now make room to establish this West Indies Federation, and uh, H.R. Penn and uh, the others who were in support of it was under view that the BVI would not become a part uh, of. The, the West Indies Federation. Mm. And they, they decided that they would stand out. Because, you see, they had just gotten a taste of their own political <laughs> power. Yes. And they weren't prepared they were, to, to relinquish, that. To relinquish that. So yeah. no, giving that up. Yeah, yeah. Because it means now you were a part of uh, a small Leeward Islands colony. You'd had much say. Mm -hmm. But if you become a part of this big West Indies <laughs> one. You have even less say. Even less. Exactly. Even less so say. they yeah. voted to stay out uh, mm -hmm. of the Leeward Islands colony. So when the, the Federation was started and the Federation came into being, what happened was that uh, the BVI then stood out. Uh, of the, the West Indies Federation. And became a territory. And, and became yeah. a, a colony. A colony. Okay. And became a colony okay. again. again. So we, we were now a colony once again. So uh, on the 1st of July, um, 1956, yes. we then were given that status of being a colony mm -hmm. in our own right mm -hmm. once over. And, and that was celebrated with great fanfare in the BVI. And that's, and that's, and that's, that's territory. That's territory. That's territory. territory. Yeah, that's territory. Yeah, because then, um, again, as I said, by the time they, 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 everything Things start to come down now, and remember now the West Indies Federation eventually died at a natural death. Mm -hmm. The former colonies were now moving in towards independence, so the colony thing wasn't in good standing. Mm -hmm. So they just changed the name, they changed the name, yeah, and say, well, they are now territory. Yeah, they're territory. territory. Okay. <laughs> so hence we celebrate. We were celebrating first Colony Day, and then now we celebrate, celebrate Territory Day. The 1853 cattle tax riots in the Virgin Islands marked a major turning point in the history of what was then the smallest of the British sugar colonies in the Caribbean. In the immediate aftermath of the riot, the then president of the colony, Cornel Chad, advised the governor that the then House of Assembly should be replaced by a legislative council with a mixture of elected and nominated members. Dr. Smith says what occurred in the Virgin Islands also influenced the British to downgrade the powers of other free colored populations in other British colonies across the Caribbean region. We now celebrate Territory Day. Before we were a territory, we were a colony. As I started out talking about when we became a colony, as all the other colonies in the British Caribbean being a part of the, what was then the British Empire, far flung. And mm -hmm. so a territory is like a remnant of the old empire. Mm -hmm. uh, the old empire was disbanded. You then had uh, the British Commonwealth. And uh, nobody wanted to continue using the term colony. So it was changed uh, to, 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 to territory. To territory. Mm -hmm. and, but that came a bit later on. Mm -hmm. That came a bit later on. Um, but at the time, we were just talking about in the 1850, 1854, um, when the House of Assembly was disbanded and uh, a legislative council was instituted, then we see uh, a sort of a downgrading. Mm. Yes. Um, at that point, uh, being instead of being a formal colony on its own, the Virgin Islands became what would have been called a crown colony at that time. And, and what I should say is that what happened in the Virgin Islands in 1854 with the disbanding of the House of Assembly and creating a legislative council happened 
in all the other colonies simultaneously. Because the problems that started in the Virgin Islands, you had a domino effect mm. across the British Caribbean. So the British then had great experience in solving this problem and disbanding the House of Assembly. They had practice in the Virgin Islands, the smallest territory. So when they had a similar problem so in took Jamaica... So the, they took away the power? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When they had a similar problem in Jamaica, again, when the colored people were rising up and they were getting power, they then disbanded the House of Assembly because if these colored men got this kind of power, it would have been trouble for the British because they were not necessarily loyal to the British crown. They were loyal to, the, to each other yes. and, and in the Caribbean context. So you, you see that is sort of a downgrading of the power. It means then that as a colony, the Virgin Islands was then ruled directly from England. Mm. And so the power base was not local. So we, we had that sort of a downgrading. And as I said, that came right down to about 1872 when, in fact, the Leeward Islands colony was created. So Antigua, Sinkitz, Nevis, Anguilla, Montserrat, and the BVI became a part of the Leeward Islands colony with one governor who was then in Antigua. And then the Virgin Islands was referred to as a presidency. In 1960, a coat of arms was approved for the colony to be used on seals, banners, flags, or otherwise. The word vigilate, which appears on the coat of arms as the colony's motto, was first adopted by the Virgin Islands Secondary School, and it means be watchful. By the late 1960s, official records referred to the Virgin Islands as a territory, and in 1978, the Public Holiday Act was amended replacing Colony Day with Territory Day. Today, as part of the improved relationship with the UK, the Virgin Islands is referred to as a British Overseas Territory.